What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. Alright guys, I want to talk a little bit about something that has been on a lot of people's minds since Evil Ryu has showed up. I actually had a chat, a really good chat, with a friend of mine who plays this game. And uh, the conversation came around being a free-to-play player and then a pay-to-win player. And then the, the major concern uh, for both ends, to be honest with you, um, and this is two of my friends. One is a pay-to-win pay -to player one is a free-to-play player. Try to convert the, the pay to win one to, to not support the craziness, but uh, he's got a lot of expendable cash. And hey, you know what? He does what he wants, and I'm happy for him because he's enjoying he's enjoying the game. Uh, but he does find something really troubling, and this is what I want to talk about. It's a topic I think that's in a lot of people's minds, and that is the idea of power creep. Now, if you don't know what the definition of power creep is, I'm going to tell you what it means. Power creep essentially is content or units that come out within a game that make previous content and previous units in a game obsolete or irrelevant, or essentially just not useful anymore, right? And power creep is something that's inevitable, guys. Like, it's it's something that lives within every gacha game, every multiplayer game, every game in general. It's the way for developers to, number one, advance the game further into a different stratosphere. Uh, it's, a, it's a way for, for devs to make money, obviously, because when something brand new comes out that's broken and makes other units that used to be broken obsolete, people tend to spend more money on that to stay on top, and it's a way to continue to make the game evolve. Street Fighter Duel is becoming a very uh, known game for its release of units and content. Like we have units pop, like I've played so many gotchas in my life, I've never seen units drop this fast ever. And I'm not talking about like one unit at a time, we're talking about two, three, four units at a time dropping which is wild for any game. Now there is, a, it's a double-edged sword, right? And I want to bring this up because a lot of people have it have it in their mind. I want to give you my opinions on the power creep in this game and if it's a, it's going to be a major issue. So most gacha games will bring out one character, a featured character, and that character will either be someone who blends in really well with the existing roster or a character that comes out that completely changes the way the game is played, okay? We have that already. and We've had that for a very long time and that's M. Bison, right? But along with M. Bison, they also gave us free... Uh, Fashion Blanca, which is also still considered one of the top units in the game, and he's the only legendary unit that was available to us for free. We have Viper, Guile, we have Chun-Li, we have a great roster, B-Zang, we have a great roster of characters who are still considered essential to the game and the, ga the way the game works. Now, Street Fighter Duel, because of the amount of characters it brings out, people are scared. Number one, because of the acquisition of characters it's really difficult to get new characters and rightfully so a lot of people know it is you have to save for months on months to max out a character which is quite honestly as a free to play that's normal for most gacha games uh, as a pay to win it's scary because there's no pity system so it makes it makes your wallet grow really thin really thin really fast unless you're super lucky right um like for me personally like on my main account my ryu is now uh my evil ryu is ss Right, and I've only and I've I've completely not spent any money for three months. You guys know this already. I've I've talked about this all the time, but I've been able to save 230, 250 tickets before I did the summon video, and then I was able to accumulate another fifty tickets through this, through getting through getting number two or number one. Oh no, it was number two. And number two in the last Satsui uh, uh, Awakening mode, and then just buying them every day. So I was able to get to SS with three hundred and three tickets without spending a penny. That is. Um, that's a very rare situation in this game for people to save to that extent and be able to do that okay i'm a content creator so for me this is an experiment i'm able to do this because i'm delivering content to you guys but the average player doesn't do this so it's very hard for me to say oh yeah anybody can do this because you can't because the average player won't be doing this average player will take get the tickets they'll spend it on akuma because that's what they want or they just don't have the patience to do it and they and, and a lot of people will drop from the game because they can't get the character so that's that's a problem for a lot of whales, obviously, because they're spending money. Anyway, so the power creep situation is where a lot of people now are afraid because these characters are coming out so fast, people feel like they're being replaced, they're replacing existing characters. So I want to just talk about this real quick because I think it's a very important topic to, to bring to light and give you my suggestion and my opinion on it. So there has not been one character that has been introduced in Street Fighter Duel that has made any other important character obsolete, except for two exceptions, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna use the word obsolete very, very loosely, okay? T. Kami was the first real power creep unit. Trendy Kami came out and she literally made Gen and Jury 
obsolete as boss killers. If you had Trendy Cami and you were fighting against someone who had Jury and Gen, those two never came close to matching up to you. And I know this because at the time, I had been working on Trendy Cami, and that's when I stopped spending. After MH10, I stopped spending, and I had 800 div coins from my spending time, and I was like, do I take her, do I take her, do I get her? Because I'm not going to be buying resources anymore. And then I saw the charts, and the charts were just like Trendy Cami, Trendy Cami. Trendy. There were no more Gens, and there were no more juries. It was all Trendy Cami, okay? So I was like, okay, well, I have to go for her, clearly, right? So I, I, I spent 500 of my... my uh, Div tickets and went down to three three fifty or something like that time right and I and I built back up slowly then we got Vega spent it all on him built back you know and I have three hundred and fifty six left or or no I'm at four hundred now actually from building over time so there's easy ways to get div tickets when you're ha you have an account like mine for, for a free to play player it's not easy it's very difficult right so my friend who's a pay to win was like how many more times are we gonna get characters that come out that are gonna make other characters obsolete and I had to say this and I'm being honest with you guys. The real important mode in this game for rewards is Final Showdown, which requires three teams, right? So we're talking about 12 units overall, plus two assists on each side. So we're talking about uh, 18 units in total. There's not enough units out here that are considered power creep to take away from those units. So what I mean by that is when you build your, your three teams from Final Showdown to get the best rewards in the game, you need the older DPS units and the older units such as Bison, Sea Viper, Guile, Bizang, Chun Li, you name them, right? Uh, Elena, uh, Rose, etc. Right? Those units are still a vital piece of the game for the best rewards. Take an example of this event that's currently out right now, Satsui Mode, right? If you look at the amount of teams required, I'm probably second place at this point. Damn it, Frenzy. <laughs> I gotta work on this again. Uh, so if you take this into account, Look at how many older units I have. Now, granted, I don't spend anymore, so some of these units I'm not going to have. So, excuse the glitch, it's, it's blue stacks. Chun Li's like glitching out. I think she's trying to get to me through the TV. I'm taking, girl, calm down. Okay, so you look at here old school, old school, old school, old school. Oh, geez. Old school and old school. Not one new unit in here. Fashion Blanca came into the picture for free to play and, and FPS, or sorry, uh, free to play and, and pay to win, and he became just as good as Trendy Cami. So the power creep was given to us from the get-go. Here we go. OG unit, OG unit, OG unit, OG unit, newer unit. We're gonna consider her semi-new, okay? Semi-new, She's one. she was one of the first new releases that came out. So I, I can consider her old now at this point, right? But Vega's the only new one here. Now, believe it or not, he isn't even the best fit for this team. Flame Chun-Li is the best fit for this team. She could be considered a power creep unit for bosses 110% because she actually is an amazing character. She's only pay to win. By pay to win, I mean you got to pay 30 bucks to get her. It's the only way to get her right now, right? That's, so don't take it out of context. I'm not talking about you got to shell $1,000 out. Pay to win means you're paying to get this character and you're getting an advantage for paying. That's the definition of pay to win to me. So again, mostly though, OG characters. If you go to this one here, Trendy Cami again is in the same boat as as a uh, as Street Poison, so semi old. MH Ken, not OG but semi old. Gen is OG. The Capri is OG. Rose OG. Summer Yang, absolutely amazing unit. His shield, the fact that anyone who has a shield gets the buff for um, increased damage for twenty five percent and gets effect accuracy for twenty five percent, absolutely broken. Any heals. So he is considered a power creep unit. Absolutely, he does everything Elena does but better, right? He's he's the total package for a support system. I would say he's even better than Rose at this point because of the buffs. The only one that doesn't really power creep him is Poison, because I still think she has the better buffs. For for DPS, for survivability, Yang, Yang blows her out of the water. He has armor break. He has, he has uh, attack back on his six cars. He has true damage back on six cars. So what I'm trying to say is, yes, power creep is coming. Is Evil Ryu power creep? No, Evil Ryu is not power creep. Akuma is not power creep. Akuma is addition to the... So Akuma is a, DP, a boss DPS. He's an incredible character. I wouldn't consider him power creep. He hasn't really made anybody else obsolete. Like, he hasn't made Trendy Cameo obsolete, is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Because he came after her, right? So technically, a power creep would be like, hey, the, the previous unit that came out or the older units are obsolete. But as a boss killer, she's not obsolete. Uh, Guile's not obsolete. Uh, you know, uh, Viper's not obsolete. So Akuma was a good blend to the game, in my opinion. 
So the question he was asking is like, is Evil Ryu making the game a power creep obsolete? Absolutely not. Evil Ryu is a problem to a solution. Is a solution to a problem that everybody was was complaining about. The fact that M Bison was way too out overpowered, and people were complaining constantly that there's really no solution outside of Viper or any or you know back backline units that kill him. Evil Ryu was created to be a solution to Bison and more. So he's not he is a power creep, but he's not he's more of a solution to a problem, in my opinion. But I will say this. If units continue to come out like him, and we get a full roster of evil Ryu's, uh, potential wise, then we can start saying there's a big problem, because the landscape then changes, right? The whales that continue whaling will dominate no matter what happens, because they will get every strong unit in the game and they will dominate. I don't know if you guys saw that. That's a cat over there. See right there. Um, so that's a problem. So my thing is. Evil reuse coming out once in a while is a good thing. It needs to happen because where there's it's excitement and there's new mechanics, it changes the game and it evolves the game. But if Street Fighter Duel continues to go the route of every every unit is going to be as powerful as Evil Ryu, then we have a problem. But my opinion, guys, I don't think we have much to worry about at the moment. I think at the moment the main thing to focus on is the fact that the OG units are still being used so often that power creep is not a concern. We'll see what the future holds, but I wanted to bring this topic up because a lot of people had questions about it. I don't think there's any cause for concern. I know Hazing, for example, talked about uh, units being nerfed. I'll, I'll be damned if that happens. I mean, it could it could possibly happen, but I, I would be very shocked to see if it's a, a, a handful of nerfs versus a few, right? And I think they would have done it right now. Instead of nerfing, I think what they'll end up doing is just making more powerful characters, which is just as bad, to be quite honest. So... Do you guys have anything to worry about? I don't think so. I think we're good for now. We have a lot of units here that have a lot of viability for a very long time and, and will work for, for you for, I would say, well, at least over a year. Once the year is over, then we have to reassess and see if Power Creep is a thing. And if it is, and if it's this hard to get a new unit, then SF Duel has something to worry about. Anyways, guys, I just want to talk about this because I know a lot of people are asking me questions. My friends brought it up today and it was a great conversation. So I want to share it with you guys. I want to know what your thoughts are. Power Creep happening now? Is it a problem for you? Do you guys feel like it's going to make the game evolve to an irrelevant point to free to play where you guys can't compete anymore because the way i'm seeing it is the balancing of levels the balancing of gear the balance for boss events is making free to play able to stand on their own and not to mention newer servers are, are less likely to have whales for the most part so free to play are, are able to play more efficiently and effectively on those servers so i don't think power creep is a concern my take on it guys i'm curious about yours let me know this is pain i'll talk to you guys in the next one street fighter 6 tonight at 10 30 p.m eastern time Come with my ass. I need I need to learn how to play the game better. I used to be amazing at Street Fighter 4, uh, but now I feel like this is a whole new game and a whole new challenge. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.